it's going. Hey guys, Grand Marshall here. I got my friend Scotty Karate and my other friend's dog. I'm down at the uh, uh, Katharo Jiu Jitsu School down here in Littleton, um, Colorado. If you're out this way, I suggest 100% check it out. It's one of the best places in town for sure. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick technique for you guys. I call it the butcher shop. It's one of my favorite moves from the cradle. It's too easy. It doesn't have a lot of complex motions. So it, you guys should be able to nail it, okay? So I'm gonna cover a cradle real quick. I'm gonna try to punch this out, okay? So Scotty, nail on. Okay, so basically we're gonna do like near side cradle. And when I lock this, what I'm gonna do in this case, I'm gonna lock the hand going around the head over on top. I like using an S grip just because it's, when guys get stuck on a cradle, they're gonna be finger peeling. So unless you got a good deep butterfly or something like deep, if you're here or something or here, then once they start peeling a couple fingers, you lose your grip. So S grip or you can choke up. My arms are nice and long. Sometimes I choke up, but let's do S grip today. Okay, so finger roll. Plug the holes, make it nice and tight. All right, when I do this, pinch my elbows, hug them tight to my chest. And when I focus on, when I'm really trying to stall a cradle, is I lock up the skull. So I always make sure I'm, as much as you're going here and trying to pull, use your chest and your lap muscles to control the, uh, close the gap. Okay, a lot of guys just do this and they end up creating this little pocket and the guy just starts to move around. So here, 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 like just you, like lock it all up. So. I'm here, I got, my, I got my cradle here, I lock my grip, I pinch him nice and tight, and I lock up the skull, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get off my knees, I wanna have good pressure here, and I wanna be heavy on my legs. I'm going to now extend my arms, okay? So basically, I'm keeping my grip, and I'm going like this, just for a quick second. So I'm just going here, hugging in tight, it's just a quick hit, okay? So I'll have my cradle, Make it nice and tight. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rotate my hip down a little bit, my right hip, and I'm gonna push. When that happens, I create a little circle and I'm gonna slide my knee onto the side of the neck. And then I'm gonna curl my cradle again and drive my hip forward. Okay. Now you can put your knee, just turn a little. You can put your knee in the center of the throat on the blade of the neck. But when you, when you do this, I want to, you want to start driving your hips into it. And then as you're doing that and you're cradling, this arm is kind of, kind of hooking it to try to get more contact on the forearm on the side of the neck, okay? So I got my cradle, nice and tight, played my hip, pop, it's in, close. Okay, nice and quick. That's the busher chop. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> That's good.